Assalamu alaikum, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Guys, as I already told you in my previous lecture that right now we are just solving the past paper of AP Calculus 2018, right? We already solved question number 1 to question number 12, now we have to move on question number 13 and we are going to solve this question, right? So the question number 13 is which of the following graph is the solution to the logistic differential equation? There is a key word here, logistic differential equation. This one. Logistic differential equation. Differential equation where you can see dy by dx. Very simple. When you see dy by dx in any equation, it, it means that this is differential equation, right? But what is the meaning of the logistic differential equation? Guys, you know, we have a different equation in the real world okay different situation in the real world for example you know sometimes if something is increasing okay for example uh, last two years we have a coronavirus here right so we see that every day every day there are patient of coronavirus means the cases of the coronavirus is going to increase so increasing no no one can predict the exact value right it's increasing every time like an exponential function okay so it always increase. So when you talk about uh, exponential function, it means it's always has a growth. It's always increasing, right? When x, or you can say when t tends to infinity, the function is always what increasing. But what is the meaning of logistic differential equation? What is the meaning of the logistic? Logistic means very simple way. I'm going to explain you. If something is going to increase, but after a specific time of the uh, you can say a specific interval, okay, a specific time, then it's a linear, it's, it's a constant, you can say. For example, I'm going to write down here, for example, you can see, for example, if for example, I'm just going up, right, this is, this is our exponential function, right, but when this value becomes here, right, Okay, after then it's not exponential, it becomes constant. It's going up and then straight, right? And now it's not going to increase again. It's always a constant. So first from zero, for example, this is zero, this is five, and then this is 10, 15, 20, whatever, right? So from zero to five, it's an increasing function. But after five, the function has uh, you know the constant value you can say is a straight line it's a it's, there is no increment you can say right so when you see such type of law this is called the logistic equation right so i'm going to give you a general equation of the logistic equation okay so after that we will solve this question Okay, so I'm going to write down an equation of differential equation of logistic differential equation. Logistic differential equation. Di double F means differential equation, EQ equation is, so you can say, dy by dx is equal to k y 1 minus y by l this is l this is l this is a differential equation of a logistic equation right dy by dx is equal to k y 1 minus y by l what is l what is l l is the you can say the maximum capacity right means for example as i told you in the graph okay for example, I have a graph like this one, like uh, one, two, three, four. For example, this is hours, right? And this is 10, 20, and 30. So first it will increase, okay? And after then it becomes what? A constant, no increment, something like that. So we can say after two, it has a straight line, it's constant, it's the value is three, right? So this is called L. This is the maximum, for example, 
this is the maximum value so this is called l so there is the maximum value and this is the equation of what logistic differential equation why differential equation because dy by dx is involved here right and k is the constant okay now i'm going to so and one more thing if you are going to solve this question and you are you are going to create a logistic model okay or you can say logistic growth model logistic growth model model or equation normal equation because this is differential equation so the equation will be as i remember y is equal to l divided by 1 plus e 1 plus b e power minus kt okay this is the equation of logistic growth equation or logistic growth model right so if you have an equation something like this l is a constant k is the constant b is the constant right if you just write down for example 7 divided by this is your uh, maximum value right 7 divided by 1 plus 3 e power minus 2x okay when you see this uh, uh, the graph of this equation on the mathway.com you will find the the graph like this one the logistic graph okay so this is differential equation this is a equation right of logistic so guys uh, now you can means now you know the concept of logistic growth model now we are going to solve this question okay so now the question will be so easy and you can solve this question Okay, so I'm going to solve this question now. Read the question now. Uh, which of the following? We have four options A, B, C, D. These are four, uh, four graphs are given, okay? And they are saying that this is the graph of logistic differential equation and the equation is already given in the question. dy by dt is equal to y by 5. 1 minus y divided by 500 this equation is given and i told you before that the logistic growth equation or logistic differential equation is this one right so dy by dx is equal to uh, k y 1 minus l by y this is the equation okay so this is what logistic differential equation if you see this one with this one right if you just match this one k is the number which is 1 over 5 here and 1 minus 1 minus and L is uh, sorry Y by L not L by Y this will be Y by L this is Y and this is L right so here L is 500 so the maximum is 500 it's very simple you can say the maximum value means you can say the first when the value of the T the value of the T here or you can say here uh, you will say when the value of uh, uh, here X I have written here dy by dx right so if you see don't say here because this is t so i'm i'm going to write down here t not x okay so you can see when the value of the t means the value of the x-axis is increasing right okay it has the maximum is how much 500 and after then it's not going to increase it's the constant line so this is given and with the initial condition it's mentioned when t is zero then the initial value is 100 so guys first of all if you have this four okay so we can say this is not the logistic and this is not the logistic right this is like an exponential in a specific interval of time and this is you know quadratic equation in opposite direction so a and c are wrong answer now you have to see this one and that one okay so this is also like a decay first it is in a decreasing and after then it's constant okay but this one is growth right it's going up and then straight line so we can say this one and that one so you can say the initial condition is what 100 then we will start from 100 so when this is 0 this is what 500 so this is wrong but if you consider graph d you will say you are going to start from where from 0 which is this condition satisfied right and after a specific interval of time right means you can say here at this time when this t reach a specific value of time we can say the maximum is 500 and this is not going to change so the maximum value is 500 i hope guys you all understand here the answer is what d this answer is correct right 
okay so this is what which of the following problem is the solution to the logistic differential equation so the answer is what d i hope guys you understand still you have a problem you can just send me a message i have a time and inshallah i will reply you take care bye bye